hi there so in this video i'm going to show you how to execute your first .NET core c sharp example so if you go to microsoft.com slash net slash core then you will land on a respective website depending on your operating system so for windows if you go through windows then you will have these options open you can also click on others and check how to work with .NET core so clicking on windows it will show you how to install .NET Core SDK. So you have option from Visual Studio or simply .NET Core for Visual Studio. I'm assuming that you don't have Visual Studio Community or Professional version installed. So in such case, simply download .NET Core SDK for Windows. So once you execute that installer, you'll be able to generate code for your C sharp or let's say VB or any other .NET Core supported language. Okay, so the next thing to do is open command prompt, navigate to the directory where you want to have your first program stored. Okay, so in my case, I'm going to create something like hello sharp okay so this is the name of that directory then let's go to hello sharp okay now what we're going to do is we're going to run dot net dot new command you will be able to use this command only when you have dot net core sdk installed from the page that i've just shown you so here is the link that you can download okay so download and execute that and you will be able to run this command okay it will go through the process of creating few files and directories such as bin and lib okay so it will send you message that created new c sharp project in d and respective directories now open visual studio code go to file then open file now we get to directory that you just created and open your program.cs okay and here you see one basic simple console project okay we are going to simply add console.read to avoid this program from auto closing when we run let's say only the exe file within our command prompt okay so now that we have this auto generated hello world we can execute this so type in dot net restore And it will go through the log and it will generate a few lines of log for you now you just have to type in dot net run okay and it will compile your c sharp project and it will show you the output okay as you can see it compiled your project and it's showing the message and finally due to our console.read it is showing that keyboard reading option okay you can control c it and you can exit from that okay now if you want you can also execute such code from your visual studio code itself simply click on view then integrated terminal if you have that extension installed simply navigate through this terminal to your specific drive okay now simply type in dot net run and it will do the same thing that it did 
okay now let me just comment this part out and let me exit from the okay let's execute again it will recompile and it will show you the output and come back to the prompt so this was a simple way for your dotnet core sdk to execute your c sharp project in visual studio code you can also use sublime text or even simple notepad editor to create your c sharp code and you can execute with the help of command prompt you don't need Visual Studio for some of such console-based programs.